All right, made it to pad off the fridge that we picked up just a little bit ago. Not really much to it, but uh, I just had a little bit of a conversation with Mr. Mike over there. He's, he gave himself a nickname, Strong Arm Mike. So I guess that's what he wants me to start calling him, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so real quick, he was telling me that um, the gentleman in that blue truck yesterday that were in the video that I had a little bit of an issue with, well, they apparently broke into a place, or, or either they broke in or something, I don't know, but they ended up stealing a bunch of filing cabinets from some place and tried to bring them here. Well, that didn't go too well with them. I'm not, no, I don't know what happened yet. Um, but see, there was something about them guys yesterday that gave me off a very bad vibe. And look at here today, the very next day. So they must have done this last night or something. Anyway, you just, you gotta be careful who you deal with. It's, that's crazy. And I don't understand. Why would you go steal stuff? When it's basically everywhere. When it's just drive around and you'll find it on the curb 90% of the time. Or if you're driving around and you see something on somebody's porch that looks like it's junk. Go up to the door. Knock on the door and say, hey, would you like me to remove this for you? Or leave a flyer. So just, just don't steal it. Golly. But anyway, we will get this unloaded here at Pad No Scrapyard. We're going to get this properly recycled. And uh, I got one more stop. I just got a phone call from somebody. Uh, I wasn't able to answer it because I was recording. So as soon as I'm done with this recording, I'm going to give them a call back real quick. And uh, we'll possibly have some more stuff to pick up. Let's be good.
So as you can see, I got that off. That was quick. All right, so that's going to get properly recycled. Amongst all this other good stuff here. So, I brought my tools today, so I was able to get that wire, or that wire off the fridge. Set back up here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go over the scale and see what the refrigerator brought. Like I said, I gotta, I kinda gotta make this quick because I gotta return this call. So what I was saying is, I don't know if you guys heard me earlier, but them guys in that truck, man, that's not even cool. I'm not going to let it bother me too much, but I'm glad that I, uh, the Lord above seen that they were, these guys were doing it the wrong way, and he knew that that was not a spot for me to be in. So I'm glad it worked out in the way that it did, that I picked up on that guy's bad vibe and decided not to deal with them guys it's sad but a little background on elite while we're waiting i started elite scrap metal pickup llc in august 20th of 2019 And here we are. I'm about to celebrate my third year here in August coming up. So next month, wow, next month, maybe three years. I'm really excited. I'm really blessed to, to be in this position. Um, in all honesty, it has not been easy. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but I think in, no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be those ups and downs. It's just how you uh, you get through it, and we've been we've been fortunate to be able to get through things. We'll get it. We'll have to get it next time. Hi, Warren. Hi. How are you? All, all right thank you this gentleman right here he's, he's a new scrapper and uh i think you might be a little wondering why i'm holding the camera up like that nothing nothing about you sir so like i was saying we're i'm in my third year now almost and uh, like I said, I've been blessed. Um, I hope to continue this, this journey for many more years. I've met some really awesome people throughout the years. Um, I've, I've gained lifelong customers, some good friends along the way. Um, I've picked up some really interesting things along the way. And the best part about it is, is every time I leave the scrapyard, I feel pretty good about it because everything that I bring and everybody brings in, it's going to get properly recycled and not into the landfill or it'll do no good to anybody. 
and that's kind of what really got me started into this you know the money is you know making making a living is is good but it's the environment or like taking thank you sir yeah We're taking care of our environment that's the most important thing So, got the slip here. Show you real quick. Uh, some sheet iron. I only weighed about 360 pounds. Scrap is still at 160, so that's really good. And that brought in about $26. So, I'm gonna get this taken care of here, and I'm gonna head over to the next spot. This is Elite Scrap Metal Pickup out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I hope all of you are having a blessed and wonderful day, and I truly appreciate all of you following and tuning in each and every day. Thank you so much.